What's up? I'm Jared Moser with Black Rain Ordnance, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your factory mill spec trigger with the new three and a half pound single stage trigger from Black Rain. This trigger will drop into any mill spec AR platform. It has half the pull of a factory trigger, an extremely short reset, and very crisp break. The best part, it's 100% American made. Let's get started. I'm going to be demonstrating today on one of our Fallout 15 rifles. This one's a PG-6. The first thing you want to do anytime you handle a firearm is be sure that the weapon is clear of any ammunition. Everything looks good there, so we can get started on taking this thing apart. Installation of the trigger is fairly straightforward and only requires a few simple tools. The first thing you're going to need is a large flathead screwdriver. I like to have a rawhide mallet, something that's not going to hurt finishes if I need to motivate a part. The 560 force Allen wrench, which comes with the trigger kit, a couple of T10 Torx bits, which are going to be used to remove the K&S pins, and then a chamber flag, which will be used to remove your uh, front pivot and rear takedown pins if they're uh, a little sticky. We also strongly recommend the use of a vise and vise block. This makes it really easy to stabilize the rifle and keep it secure so your hands can be free to do work. Now that we know the rifle is completely clear of ammunition, we're going to start by removing the front pivot pin and the rear takedown pin. Now we can pull our upper off and we'll set that aside because we don't need it anymore. Now let's get right into this. The first thing we're going to do is start by flipping our receiver over so we have access to the grip. We'll use our flathead screwdriver to remove the grip screw. Now some manufacturers do use an Allen bolt instead of a flathead screw. Uh, we've just had better luck with the flathead screws lasting a bit longer. When you go to take the grip off, you've got to be mindful of the spring and detent for the selector. You don't want that shooting across the room. We have tens of thousands of them, but you probably just have this one. We'll set our grip over here. Now there's a small detent that's inside the receiver and you don't want to lose that either. Now you can flip the receiver over. We'll put that detent next to the spring so we don't lose track of it. And we can remove the selector. Now that the selector is out of the way, we'll relieve the pressure off the hammer and since we've got the KNS anti-rotation system on our trigger, we're going to use those T10 Torx bits to back these screws out. We're going to remove the hammer pin. You're going to take a little bit of pressure off the hammer using a punch or like I did the T10 bit. We'll pull that pin out, hold on to the hammer, it is under some spring pressure, so you don't want it shooting you in the face. We'll set that aside. Now we're going to do the trigger itself. Same thing. Push it through with your tool. That will hold the trigger assembly in there. Keep that with all my K&S parts. Now I'm going to hold down on the disconnector and the trigger because they are under some spring pressure as well. And I don't want this stuff shooting across the room. So we've got the disconnector and the trigger. That can go over here with our hammer. And now we've got this thing completely cleaned out. All right, before we drop our trigger in, I want to show you tension set screws we have built into the housing. These are for use if you're not using the KNS anti-rotation system that comes factory on all black rain rifles. Since we are using a black rain rifle, we're not going to need these, so we're going to make sure that they're backed out nice and flush so they're not protruding at all. All right, now we're ready to drop the trigger in. We want to make sure there's no debris or anything in the bottom of the receiver. Of course, we've made sure that our tension set screws are nice and flush. We'll drop it in. Now we're going to grab our pins. The slotted K&S is the hammer pin. And the threaded pin is for our trigger. Those will slide in nice and snug. 
If you do run into a situation where it's a little tough, that's where the rawhide hammer comes in. It won't hurt the finish. Now we're going to use the side bars of the K&S to line these up. And we'll get one of our screws started here. Some of these parts are very small, so you're going to want to take your time when putting it together because you don't want to lose this stuff. Now we'll get the other side started. snug them both down. Now you want to be sure not to over tighten these. Snug is good. Now we're going to test the function on the trigger. You can already feel a huge difference in how this thing is going to run. Alright. Next is our selector. And then basic reverse order of what we did before. Flip our receiver over. That little detent that we didn't lose in the beginning is going to drop in. Make sure your selector is either in the safe or fire mode so that detent goes all the way in. Now we're going to grab our grip. Make sure that our lock washer is on that screw. And our selector detent spring that we didn't lose from earlier as well. That's going to go inside this recess on the grip and then just kind of hold it with your finger as you slide the grip on and then as you guide the grip on you'll just want to make sure that that spring drops down onto the back of that detent. That's all nice and flush. We'll grab our screwdriver you have any trouble getting that screw lined up, one thing you can do is loosen up the block, put it more of an angle. That'll make the angle on that screw a little flatter. Again, you just want it good and snug because you don't want this backing out. in, flip it over, check your safety, all right, now we're ready to put the upper back on, make sure our pins are all the way out of the way, and there you have it. Now you're ready to enjoy your three and a half pound single stage trigger in your Black Rain rifle or any other AR platform. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and visit our website, www.blackrainordnance.com. Again, I'm Jared Moser. It's time to get this thing to the range. <laughs>